Some more breaking and stunning news this week in the world of GLP-1 and obesity treatments. This one is going to rock your socks off. Listen, if you enjoyed the video that we did earlier this week in our podcast about the way that GLP-1s actually affect heart health outside of weight loss, you're going to love this video. So to recap, what we learned earlier this week was that GLP-1s are actually in rodent models in early studies showing that GLP-1s restore blood flow to areas of the heart after a heart attack. And after low oxygen events, it opens up capillaries in the heart that otherwise would be clamped and locked down. That's what we learned earlier this week. Amazing news. And this is irrespective of weight loss. This is a direct mechanism. Now, this is another amazing mechanism of GLP-1s that could be a huge potential that we'll cover here in just a minute. But if you're new here, my name is Dave Knapp. I'm the man of the Manjaro. That's why I'm here. You are on the pen. We go be Saxenda, Victoza, Trulicity, Manjaro, Zepbound, Compound. That is what we talk about here at On The Pen each and every week. So please hit that like, hit that bell, hit that sub for notifications and make sure you get all the updates that we do here on this channel. Also, a quick plug to visit obesity.news. Just type obesity period news into your browser. It's going to take you to our newsletter where we put out almost daily articles about these game changing medications. If you want to stay in the loop, all to help you have more competent and confident conversations with your doctor. But let's get into this stunning news here this week. Zepbound just shrank breast cancer tumors in obese mice. That's the headline. So researchers at the University of Michigan were using a well-established model for obesity associated breast cancer in mice. And I was very curious how this all works. So for those of you who are curious, this is very interesting. For those of you who are not curious, maybe move ahead 30 seconds in the video. But basically what they do is that they take mice, genetically modified mice, they feed them a high fat diet to ob induce obesity, and then they implant them with breast cancer tumors in the mammary fat pad. And so this model actually mimics the way that obesity in real life fuels cancer growth in women. So in this particular study, once the mice were found to be tumor positive, they were either given terzepatide or they were given placebo every other day for 16 weeks. I'm very curious in what doses. Uh, but basically the mice on Zepbound lost about 20% of their body weight, mostly from fat. That's the key, right? We'd expect that the terzepatide mice lost the weight. That's not super surprising, but most of their body weight was lost from fat. That's a differentiator from different studies that we've seen with um, straight GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide. But check this out. The tumor volume dropped significantly alongside specifically fat loss. And this is where it gets interesting. The less fat remaining, especially in the liver, the smaller the tumors became. So it seems to be that there is a mechanism that trizepatide is doing in terms of specifically reducing liver fat, not just reducing body weight, but reducing liver fat that help to shrink the size of these tumors. So one of the things that's important to note about this study is it is preclinical data. It hasn't been peer reviewed. It hasn't been published in a major medical journal. Although we do have an article up about it at obesity period news, obesity.news, type it in your browser. But this was presented at Endo 2025, one of the largest endocrinology get togethers in the world. And these are some of the top most respected researchers doing the most rigorous work. So while this data is early, it's extremely serious. So let's recap what we've learned this week for all of the GLP-1 haters out there is we learned that there is a direct mechanism of action of GLP-1 outside of just weight loss. So when people say you just do it the natural way. Yeah, but there's actually benefits to GLP-1 receptor agonist medicine specifically. That's what we saw in the early heart study. I really encourage you to go back and check out that video or that article, uh, either one, because that is amazing news. But the other, this one showed that GLP-1s uh, specifically terzepatide, as it reduced liver fat specifically in these mice, it also reduced the stores of liver fat alongside the size of the tumors. So as the liver fat reduced, the size of the tumor reduced also. In both cases, 
the disease was not just slowed down, it started to reverse. In the heart study, you saw that the blood flow was restored to areas of the heart that had lost blood flow and saved heart tissue, essentially, right? By making sure that it got the oxygen that it needed after a cardiac event. In this case, if you can reduce liver fat with ZepBound, you can also shrink the size of tumors, breast cancer tumors specifically. So if you're a woman and you're in the, on the pen community, that's about 65% of you. I know for many of you, this news is not just interesting or intriguing. For many of you, this is very deeply personal. Many of you in our community, I think of specifically Sabrina, who has been a contributor to On The Pen, have personally dealt with breast cancer. If that's not you, then you know someone or you love someone who has lived with or fought breast cancer. And this kind of study is absolutely groundbreaking when it comes to hope for the future. Because what I firmly believe these GLP-1 receptor agonists are doing is they're just they're supplementing something that has been destroyed in our gut. It's been destroyed by, and sometimes just frail genetics, and sometimes it's been destroyed by the food environment, toxic food environment that we live in, or toxins that we've been exposed to along the way. There are a myriad of things that I believe are contributing to the destruction of our gut hormones, and this is replacing it. And what we're finding is that, surprise, surprise, not only are people able to get their weight down for the first time in their life and, get, and to get their obesity under control, but other chronic diseases are being controlled and interrupted along the way. And this is groundbreaking, earth shattering. If you found this video helpful, if you found this information helpful, my request to you is that you would, again, hit the like, uh, help boost this video, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to the channel, visit obesity.news and sign up for our email alerts. We are building the first patient-centric obesity medicine news platform, which allows you as patients, people in the real world to have more competent and confident conversations with your medical providing team. What we're doing here is improving lives. And if you wanna be part of that, subscribe, follow along wherever you get information. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the best part of what we do at On The Pen and we'll catch you 